రాజ్యసభ సమావేశాలు కొనసాగుతూనే ఇప్పుడు లైవ్ చూద్దాం ఫంక్షనింగ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ రిజిస్ట్రేచర్ టు ఎ మియర్ నంబర్స్ గేమ్ ద ద ప్లే ఆఫ్ నంబర్స్ షుడ్ స్టాప్ విత్ ద ఫార్మేషన్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నమెంట్స్ అండ్ దేర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి రిసార్టెడ్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ దట్ ఇన్ రేరెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ రేర్ కేసెస్ యాజ్ జస్ట్ నౌ అండ్ అవర్ లీడర్ ఆఫ్ ద అపోజిషన్ వాస్ మెన్షనింగ్ అర్లియర్ ఈవెన్ ది అదర్ సీనియర్ మెంబర్స్ వర్ సేయింగ్ ఎన్ వి ఫంక్షన్ ఎన్ వి డిస్కస్ వి డిస్కస్ ఇన్ డెప్త్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వి ఆల్వేస్ ఆఫర్ అన్ ఎన్లైట్ అండ్ డిబేట్ బెటర్ దాన్ others that has the general feeling but only issue is we must discuss we must debate and then we decide then we'll be able to deliver best so this is my request to all of you the play of number should stop with the formation of the government and thereafter it should be resorted only in the rarest of rare cases an emerging economy like ours should be guided more by a shared destiny in the functioning of our legislature more and more discussion referring it to committees and then discussion in the committee goes beyond party lines i myself was chairman of a, a committees a particular home committee i was chairman for 5 years even an important issue sticky issues at the end of the day we used to come to some common understanding as uh, there is no media and there is no other uh, this thing people used to speak out of their heart and then uh, what they used to believe and used to appreciate and understand each other's point of view that's why the historic land boundary agreement by both the house of parliament and even the historic uh, gst bill and even the historic uh, legislation that have been passed over the years not only during this regime even earlier regimes also were the products of correct wisdom of both the house of parliament that it was after a meaningful debate honorable members all that people of our country desires is that the parliament should be the voice of sanity echoing their concerns and finding solution to their problems as the best way forward for the years the both the house of parliament have done a reasonably good job but somehow there is a growing concern resentment among the people of about our functioning as a parliamentary affairs minister i used to go and meet the media at the end of the session and then outline how many legislations have been approved how many hours we sat how we made up the last of time etc but at the same time as some of the members were suggesting today from the back benches or from the so called small parties the time that is available is ah uh, in the middle also and in the middle middle also in front left right and straight everybody is bright i am aware of it but point is one of question of management of time time the time management if you are able to utilize the full time na you have enough time if you spend time in a procedural wrangles and other things then the time that will be lost that will be lost to the smaller parties and ordinary members so keeping that in mind i will try to do my best to see that everyone gets their right and their due also while debates takes place all that is needed is an attitude of give and take on the part of both sides this is possible through strategizing for effective functioning of the house rather than for its disruption this needs an enlightened approach on the part of all concerned i always say government let the government propose let the opposition oppose let the house dispose either way this way or that way that is the way forward unfortunately obstruction and disruption of the proceedings is increasingly being chosen as the first parliamentary option i don't want to dwell on that but countrymen are getting disillusioned sometimes when they see because the live coverage is there when they see what is happening they get disillusioned we must understand their feelings and now we, we are in an aspirational india india that is moving forward the younger generation are taking more and more interest in the public affairs of the country their that in mind their aspirations we must live up to their expectations the school children they look to for legislature legislature they look to parliament and the people in general the, of the other countries they also look to indian democracy because we are the finest parliamentary democracy in the world so friends uh, what i say is that uh, um let us utilize the time that is available in an effective manner i will be more than happy if you all come together and the government also is willing to extend the time of the sittings of the house i will be more than happy to welcome it i can only impress upon the government provided the time is that is already available if it is spent meaningfully constructively then we can plead our case or make a request and suggest to the government to extend the session time 
when you are not able to utilize the time that is already made available to you, then going and asking, that will not have any rational and it will not be appreciated. So I hope in the coming days we will be able to put our best efforts together. And uh, the way, best way of enforcing accountability of the executive by the opposition is to engage the government and corner them in an informal debate. I have an experience in legislature. Mr. Keshura was mentioning about it and also Subhram Reddy and others know. I, was, I, was, I used to be a very bitter critic, but at the same time never used to cross the line. That we enjoyed it also as an opposition. The best part of my legislative life is the time when I was in opposition. Rather than in position. The Vijay is not in this side. <laughs> this, uh, this side. Because we had a constructive debate and we used to score points and we used to feel happy. At, the, at this juncture, I also have an advice to the media as the chairman of the house, who is the custodian of this house. The media also should uh, report the constructive debates that take place in the house. Members come prepared. Mem members come, I have seen some of the members as and when the debate is allowed, they make very valuable contribution, they make a lot of good references, but unfortunately media, that's a feeling among all the members, including myself, the media is only giving weightage to sensationalism, to negativism, to controversies, and to, to dramatics, rather than realistic uh, attitude. So I, I have a suggestion to the media, media is free, we are in independent India, I can't direct them, but the only thing is I can convey to them from this chair uh, in the beginning of this, my tenure, please focus more on constructive debate. I, I want to share with each one of you, when I came here to this house, I was asked to speak on agriculture, which was my favorite subject. I prepared myself, went to the library, gone through Swaminathan Commission recommendation, gone through Swaminathan reports and speeches of Acharya Ranga, the great uh, agriculture, former raider and all. And after a lot of effort, I prepared and came here to the house and I was allowed, thanks to the chairman at the time, I was given 52 minutes time. Because my part, at that time, that party which I belonged, they also had a substantial time, they are, they are colleagues, colleagues are located. Everybody came to me, even uh, Swaminathan ji himself and Sharad Pawar ji, Rangupar Yadav ji, Raja and all, they complimented for my speech. Next day to my disappointment, there is no mention except uh, one paper said Mr. Venkai and I do spoke elaborately on agriculture problems. <laughs> so there is a heart burning among the members. You, you, ref, you report what is happening here. I am not saying. I have no right to advise you that way. But at the same time report what also is positively happening in the house. What is being constructively debated. That is the duty, sacred duty of the media also. So I thought I should give this advice from the chair to the friends from the media also. Because mere sensationalism alone is not going to happen. And uh, one headline is not going to be a deadline. The main line is the thinking of the parliamentarians and the corrective decision of the parliamentarians. That is the main line. That has to be taken care. Friends, uh, the... We, as a upper house, we must, share, we must show the way forward to other legislatures across the country. As a member of this August House for more than 19 years, and most of it is an opposition member, I am aware of the sensitivity of both the sides of the house, the rules of business, the rights and privileges of the honorable members, the feelings and even frustrations on some occasions. I am also conscious that eminent persons like Dr. Sarepal Radhakshnan, Dr. Jakir Hussain, Justice Yudayatullah, Sri R. Venkatramanji, Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, Sri K. R. Naranan, Sri Bairan Singh Shekhawadji, and others had presided over the proceedings of this August House with the distinction. We have also been fortunate to observe Sri Amit Ansari, the outgoing uh, Vice President, who had a diplomatic career and who, who conducted this house. That's all there in front of us. My immediate predecessor, Sri Amit Ansari, did so for 10 years. He shall be my endeavor to uphold the traditions and standards set by these worthy people. All that uh, I am also happy to have enabled an experienced colleague and deputy, Sri P.J. Kurian, because I have seen him taking most of the suffering <laughs> from the chair, at the same time normally not losing cool and maintaining balance and trying to 
uh, sometimes it because the gravest provocation after all everybody is a human being is not god is also a human being all that i would like to appeal to the honorable members on this occasion is that keep in mind the poorest of the poor who is wanting to be recognized the poorest of the poor of the country they need to be recognized their voice to be heard their aspirations has to be understood and they have to be met that should be uppermost in our mind and they should not be deprived of their rightful opportunity which is guaranteed under the constitution which is part of our parliamentary democracy friends let us be guided by the shining principles of our constitution the ideals of freedom struggle the noble thoughts of great souls like mahatma gandhi dr b r ambedkar and all other leaders who gave their sweat and blood for bringing our country this far always be reminded of the great speeches made by great leaders as a legislator i used to go to library and read what indrajit gupta ji has said what bhupesh gupta ji has said what uh, nad pai ji has said what vaj pai ji has said what pilu modi has said what mini mosani has said what acharya ranga has said in the assembly what tenet viswanath ji has said what gautam dasana has said what are used to be the great speeches of anna of tamil nadu these things i keenly observed that really brought me to this place i am sharing with you i am opening my mind and sharing with you otherwise i have no support of dynasty i come from a very humble family and uh, from there to reach here was one is hard work second is study so i request upon all the all the members there are many seniors here of course will be missing uh, sitaram echuri ji one of the senior most members of this house and with a very experienced and knowledgeable person of uh, different ideologies that thing wrong that's the beauty of democracy so friends uh, we must all work hard to get the due place in the committee of nations and ensure smile on the face of every citizen let us be guided by the right of the people for a better future there is a certain new sense of purpose and urgency being demonstrated by the union and state governments in a spirit of competitive and cooperative federalism i am happy the honorable prime minister has given a call that center and states must work as team india team india that is the need of the hour not only center and state but also the local bodies keeping in view the spirit of the 73rd and 74th constitution amendment where the powers to be given to the lower level of the democratic system three fs funds functions and functionaries should be transferred to the local bodies also be it panchayats or municipalities that should be our guiding principles so keeping that in mind we must start from ourselves the we must all work in the spirit of a competitive and cooperative federalism to quicken the pace of development to offer more opportunities to people for bettering their lives let us play the role of a catalyst in fulfilling this national quest i would like to assure you that it shall be my endeavor to uphold the dignity of the office of vice president of india chairman of the rajya sabha and live up to the trust you have reposed in me i am at your service and always open to your suggestions for improving the functioning of this august house as per your collective wisdom in the end i would like to remind the honorable members of the resolution adopted by this august house at the special session of the occasion of the golden jubilee of our independence 1997 after 50 years of independence both the houses they sat together discussed elaborately and approved a pledge the members resolved to preserve and enhance the prestige of the parliament by conscious and dignified conformity to to the entire regime of rules of procedure and conduct of the business of the houses and direction of the presiding officers uh, some of the members have suggested that the tradition of uh, not passing the bill in din should be continued i hope that there won't be any scope for such a situation no din and then no passage of bill in a din both can go together if you have a quite atmosphere and if we have a meaningful discussion then we can pass the legislations after thorough discussion that's how i think about it friends uh, i again uh, conclude by saying recalling what uh, uh, sri pranab mukherjee ji the outgoing president has said let us discuss debate discuss and decide let us forget disrupt i would like to thank you all from bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity namaskar thank you sir